Hello, I'm Peter Mogesel, and I'm here with Professor Gerd Doring, Professor of Microbiology at uh, the University of Tübingen. We are at the European Cystic Fibrosis Society meetings in Hamburg, Germany. Welcome, Professor Doring. Congratulations for winning the award this year from the European Cystic Fibrosis Society for your contributions to CF research. It's certainly well deserved. I'd like to start a discussion by asking your thoughts about uh, the microbiology of the CF lung. We often think about Pseudomonas and Staph aureus as being the primary uh, pathogens. Do you think our view is too narrow of the CF lung in infection? Well, I would say it is too narrow because um, there is a wealth of other organisms uh, which we have found recently. Recently means in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's a paradigm shift that uh, we deal not only with the Pseudomonas or Staph aureus, there are 30, 40 different species now detected. And uh, we are quite sure that uh, they uh, contribute to the pathophysiology of lung disease and cystic fibrosis. So uh, I would rather say that there's a new move into mm -hmm. a broader view concerning um, treatment of these other bacterial species in cystic fibrosis. You've done quite a bit of work looking at anaerobes and the effect of anaerobic infection in the lung. What are your thoughts? Well, we published a paper in 2002 showing that the sputum is rather anaerobic. It doesn't contain any oxygen mm -hmm. and therefore it would be an ideal uh, environment for the anaerobes which come down from the mouth and then multiply in the um, sputum, mm -hmm. in the mucus plugs, and that is exactly what happened. So the number of um, a specific anaerobe is going from 10 to the 6 to 10 to the 8. So it's not just contamination, it is active multiplication of these anaerobes in the lungs of the CF patients. So I'm quite sure that this is significant and we should deal with it. And do you think the anaerobes are important just in chronic infection or also in ex exacerbations as well? Yeah, that, that is a good question. Um, we actually don't know whether during exacerbation uh, a certain species will multiply and another will not. Mm -hmm. um, this could be the case, but we wait for a clear clinical studies, scientific studies, who show that. And do you think we should be targeting anaerobes in other organisms with our therapies that are now primarily directed at Pseudomonas? This is what I think, but uh, again, uh, from a scientific view, one would do more studies to show that the anaerobes um, are contributing to the pathophysiology. Mm -hmm. We did some studies on Prevotella intermedia, mm -hmm. um, but there are much more uh, anaerobes uh, which we should investigate. But my view is at the moment that uh, anaerobic or antibiotics against strict anaerobes should be included in clinical trials. Do you think that we should uh, be using different technology to identify organisms in the airway? Yeah, at least in, in our department we have this multi tof mm -hmm. method where you still have to cultivate a microorganism from mm -hmm. the sputum, but then in, t in the next five uh, seconds you have the, uh, you have the result mm -hmm. Uh, about the species level. So I think this is quite promising and uh, I think it is introduced in, in many micro labs now mm -hmm. all over the world. And uh, there is an interest in uh, modeling the lung with biofilm cultures. Do you think that that will be something that is valuable in clinical practice? Definitely. Uh, we know that biofilms are in the lungs and uh, we need to do research on, on biofilms uh, concerning antibiotic resistance and uh, the uh, quorum sensing and, and whatever. So um, it's, it's quite valuable to have systems, uh, in vitro systems, where we can uh, mimic the situation in mm -hmm. vivo. What's your opinion about the role of new inhaled antibiotics in the therapy of cystic fibrosis uh, infection? The spectrum of sensitive organisms to uh, resistant organisms is, is broad in, in, mm -hmm. in the sputum of CF patients. So you have uh, many bacteria which are sitting in biofilms which are, I think, very sensitive, mm -hmm. but you have also very resistant ones. Mm -hmm. so, the question is whether the, the normal resistance definition, mm -hmm. uh, which is based on, on, on uh, blood uh, cultures, uh, whether this is something 
uh, which is valuable for mm -hmm. the situation in CF sputum. And most researchers say it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's not very important. So one can treat with inhaled antibiotics even in the case that you find some resistance bacteria. And there are many new antibiotics coming uh, through the development pipeline. How do you think they will be used in the future? Emerging resistance mm -hmm. is something which uh, uh, is happening all the time. Mm -hmm. So we knew about this 20 years before and uh, it was always an issue um, and uh, therefore the strategy is uh, to use one antibiotic only for a limited period of time and then change to another one. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the new development of uh, let's say other formulations of old antibiotics mm -hmm. This will uh, give us more possibilities to change and therefore to avoid the emergence of resistance. So we look forward to the treatment with different antibiotics and CF. Well, thank you very much, Professor Doring. I appreciate your taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you.